Talks. I wanted to talk briefly today about integrity. I was having a conversation with my friend about um, integrity and honoring ourselves and you know how integrity is a black or, is a black or white thing. It is you are in integrity and you are out of integrity. Um, you can break integrity but you can and step out of it but you can also step back into it. Integrity essentially um, is you know saying X and doing X rather say, rather than saying X and doing Y. Um, which is not in integrity, right? So if you're going to say, and the reason like manifestations can be here and there depends on your integrity. If you say something, do you believe it? Then are you going to follow through with it? Because if you say something and it's like 50, 50%, you know, true and false, that's pretty much the way you'll yield your results too. And the thought that I was having is like, how often we break integrity with ourselves and it's pretty easy to do so if you think about it like uh i'm just gonna be on the phone for 10 minutes knowing damn well that you don't know how long this person's gonna talk but then maybe you just have 10 minutes because then you're gonna do some other stuff but now you're here you're talking 20 minutes and you've broken your own integrity when it was unnecessary you know so what i've been thinking about is being more in integrity with even my desires and better understanding what i actually so instead of being like, I'm going to work out knowing damn well I'm not going to go work or I'm going to go to the gym. I'm not going to go to the gym. Like, why would I say that? Because then I'm setting up this expectation that I'm going to betray myself about. Not on purpose. Sometimes I do go, sometimes I don't. But that's not the form that I usually take to exercise. Instead of saying, I will spend 45 minutes walking today. Or, you know what? I will take the stairs instead of taking the elevator like making it I guess a little bit smaller um and it's not so much about lowering your standards I think you can build up to having different expectations but you need a baseline you know like if 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 for instance the the example we're talking on the phone you really like talking on the phone but you also have a lot of stuff that you need to get done right you can say present in the conversations that I have and I will be sure to complete what is on my to-do list and make sure your to-do lists are manageable instead of putting like 50 things on a to-do list like really be real about what what you are feeling to do in a day because you can do anything you can do a lot in a day and also what are you really knowing like your schedule driving food is gonna have to be counted for sleep um, and if you're liking to talk to people, that also all has to be counted in for, you know? So, yeah. I had an example, or I have, I'm having a thing today, which is interesting. Um, I told my uncle, who, got, who helped me get this car, um, that I would come in today to help out. Um, I forgot that it was Wednesday, and I was hanging out with my friend, Seth, who just came back from Arizona. And just, you know, we were just chilling, and I was like, oh shit, I should probably figure that out but in the moment of when I was hanging out with Seth the things that we were talking about I realized I have some really major things I need to take down in my home I do you know like magic and play with magic and do ritual work and stuff like that so like it's very important and he reminded me it's when you if you create like a grid for instance then you take it down that's when it actually because you it was manifesting and doing the things and now it's you know when you take it apart is when it actually comes in and so i realized oh shoot i need to do some stuff like right now because it was on my heart like even when i was with him i couldn't be present with him so i'm out of integrity with both of us in this case you know then um then i so i, I was driving i was heading home then i was like you know what but i told my uncle i would be there so i was i navigated to my uncle i was literally five minutes away and from his shop and i was like no i can't do this like this is not this is not it this is not it and so then i was like okay i gotta head back home send him a voice note i will be coming in tomorrow and i will come in earlier tomorrow that's me i didn't tell him that but i will come in earlier tomorrow because you can't make up for what has happened already and also you can make your best effort the next time so i'm heading home to do the things that i need to do to feel comfortable and put my heart at ease because i've been today or today yesterday and the day before has all been about the spiral i made this tool that has it definitely is great so yeah think about the 
things that you say and you don't have to say unnecessary things right like i'm not gonna eat any sugar today and then go and get a bunch of sugar like you didn't have to say that <laughs> if that's not really what you want or it could be what you want but why are you breaking it then then let's let's actually sit down and let's talk about what are we actually committed to then what what is it that you actually want because if you wanted something if you want sugar then just say you want sugar say you want a healthier relationship with sugar i want to manage my sugar intake I, you know i don't i want to cut back but to be like i'm not gonna have no sugar and then go get sugar you just you're fucking yourself over and it's unnecessary so yeah let's get clear baby